and let's take a look at some highlights from this year and some of your games. All right, Javin, go ahead and walk me through this play right here. All right, well, this is what we call Triton Gun 95, and uh, we tag Shake, which means that our tight end, number 10, is going to look like he's going to run a stick route to the outside, stick his foot in the ground, and go back to the middle of the field. And uh, he made a great move on this linebacker, and he was able to get inside. And I uh, just gave him a chance in the back of the end zone, and he made a good catch. So coach gives you a little bit of opportunity to they put some tags in, and it gives you an opportunity to kind of change some things out there. Yeah, being able to be out on the field and seeing the way the coverage is, especially in this type of situation down on the goal line, um, being able to read it and see where the defense is playing and um, to call the shake in that situation was a good call by coach. And um, I just gave him a shot at the ball. Yeah, I thought that was a good throw. I thought, you know, getting back there, you saw the window early, and you were able to execute the play. I think that's an important part about obviously playing quarterback. A lot of the kids today I see, they can't always read the windows. They don't understand anticipating the throw. They generally wait till the guy's open and he ends up closing the window off and throwing into traffic. So walk me through this. Right here, it looks like you got a check. Coach has got a check with me, play. Putting yourself, putting your team in the best position. What's going on right here? Yeah, well, what we had called originally is a uh, 25 boot, which is a fake run to the left side and a bootleg out. But the way they had lined up, there was two guys blitzing off this right edge, so I would have bootlegged right into a sack, pretty much. So I checked off to a fade route to Greg on this outside, and um, he had one-on-one -on -one coverage, and I knew if I gave him a chance, he would go up and make the play. Pretty nice having a stud receiver on the outside. Yes, you know, sir. All right, this is at the end of the game against Pope John Paul. I wasn't having the uh, greatest game in the air. It was just one of those days. Uh, the ball wasn't coming off my hand right, but uh, it was about two minutes left, and we were down by six. And um, Greg had a post route. This is a post out concept, and uh, he beat the corner. And uh, that's all I needed was just a little bit of room, and we ended up winning the game by one. Right. So I, th I think you do a good job of seeing the seams and, and recognizing coverages and where to go with the football. Where do you think you've progressed the most in your four years reading coverages? Where, where do you think you see the field the best? Well, being able to see the field in general is something that I've progressed with and uh, not anticipating throws too much to the point where I lock on to one receiver and don't read the whole field. Sometimes I can get one-on-one -on -one coverage and automatically look and say, all right, my, I think my guy is better than your guy, and I'm just going to throw it up there and hope he gets it. And uh, being able to see the coverage and not lock on to one receiver, but see the whole field and uh, what the best progression is, what the best option is in that situation, is something that I've definitely progressed with. What do you think coach stresses the most in practice when you guys are getting ready for an opponent? Maybe you're not lining up across the board with people might say five-star athletes. You've got some great athletes out there and some kids that work hard, but what, what's the biggest thing that the coach stresses to you guys out there in those field times? For us, it's execution. I mean, we feel that uh, as an offense, we can go out and compete with whatever you know the state of Florida has to throw our way. And uh, we tend to kill ourselves sometimes. We go out and we we don't execute, we don't make the plays that we need to. I don't make the throw, guy doesn't make the catch, we don't make the block. But uh, I feel if we go out and we do our job, um, we can hang with the best. And a lot of times we end up killing ourselves, we don't do our job. And uh, that's the main thing that coach stresses in practice, is do your job and uh, we can hang with anybody. All right, well, that's a wrap.